With this week's update, Jagex released the Desert Treasure 2 Rewards Beta. You can use all the new prayers and check out all of the new equipment and the streamers are absolutely loving it. And some of our very skilled gamers are testing out how OP some of this stuff can be. Wait, how fast did I kill this? Wait, 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 how fast did I kill this? I want to see how long it lasts. But I'm literally going to put an auto retaliate and just watch me kill Scorpio. That's crazy, man. <laughs> I bet I can heal through these minions as well. Yep. <laughs> so we should poison me first hit. Okay, I've been poisoned. Okay, so now I go... Oh my god, it worked on the minion as well. So the protection prayers you can see Curtis using protect you for 90% damage, but have a 50% chance to inflict 10% of the damage back to the attacker. And some of these prayers come with a lot of risk versus reward mechanisms where you'll take a lot of damage, but you'll be inflicting serious damage on the opponent. And I just see this opening up some massive ideas for the very skilled gamers in PVM, but the PKers are going to be going crazy with some new techniques as well. Well, and here's Odoblock checking out a couple of them. Sam. Rune is grace. Prayer points are drained instead of run energy. Prayer points are drained instead of run energy. Somebody explain to me. I'm and here we have Oda also checking out the new mage gear and look how OP it is. Plus 12% magic da damage. Plus 69 mage. Has defense defense bonuses. How about ancestral? Uh, wow. Sell your ancestral sets now. I'm serious. Chat. Well, I'm warning you guys. If Virtus gets released, sell it now. Now, before you go panic, sell all your ancestral. Don't forget there is a chance it will be added onto it. So you'll just be wasting your money. G'day, legends. Thank you for all the new subs. If you want to join the family, we upload every single day. Let's get back to the clips. And while we're checking out the PKing streamers, Dino's checking out how OP some of this gear can be in the wildy. 110. 110 max gear. So you can double G mall to D8 jacks. Realistically, they'll probably use dragon boots. Don't know how much these rings are gonna be. Um, I'm assuming the rings are gonna be pretty expensive. That's right, with the right combo and the right amount of RNG, you can literally stack a 208 damage with that Jamal into the Darox combo. And don't ask me what all of the prayer he has activated is doing, but the high level community is going to be going absolutely crazy finding new metas while using all this new gear and prayer. But my personal favorite clip of the day comes from Boaty, where I think he leaks some vital information. I'm gonna kind of knock out the next two goals of the account, which is Temporos and Easy Clues before I join the group. Um, um, I mean, uh, the, uh, the, uh, yeah, that. Now, I'm honestly not sure if he just said that to bait everyone into thinking he's joining the Farmers V2, but it could have been a legitimate mistake and it just slipped down. Either way, I'm super excited to hear more. Let me know what you think. And one of the people that heard that may have gone to Foe's chat to discuss to see if they could find out a little bit more. If Adam wanted to join Bodhi, what do you think he would want to play early game? If, if Bodhi did a hardcore farmer? A hardcore group he would probably rush b gloves i think into the slayer grind kind of like typical slayer i don't know there, there's a good chance he would actually you know send hunter as well just to get a lot of chins to to chin up and it seems it didn't take long at all for the mega minds of runescape to start figuring out some absolutely insane metas um now, at first, we thought that was the best it could get. Vorkath KC in under 20 seconds, but then they figured out this. Dude, that's... <laughs> That's right, you could basically go around and just instantly kill the majority of bosses. I'll put the explanation on the screen right now if you want to check it out, but it's some super high tier Mega Mind stuff. And I guess that's why they need to put these worlds to the test to check out how OP some of this stuff can be in our game, but it did not take them long at all to figure it out. A cold one was literally just running around, just about one shotting every single boss, including Corp with 1,990. 99 damage in a single tick and can you imagine if these came into the game with how they are right now the game would be completely ruined but i'm glad they got figured out quickly and it's time to put in some changes yo clipper go live right now and i host you 
But while he was waiting for that to happen, he was ready to start his post-stream relaxation ritual. But he didn't realize his stream was seeing it all. Oh, f wait, desktop is still on? Bro, are you f And that may be the worst time Coxie's ever accidentally leaked something he shouldn't have while live. All right, another day, another hardcore at the CG. Will this one get taken out the game? Jesus. Okay. Okay. 3 HP. And with this week's update, Lawrence keys are now tradable and Dino was having an absolute field day, taking out anyone and everyone he could find in the wilderness. But this PK was very strange. Jesus Christ. He's dead. I swear there better be keys here, man. He says lo- Wait, no, keys wouldn't go on the floor anymore, would they? And just when he's about to go into the bank, he finds another fella to swiftly take out. Probably only gonna go to- What are you doing, Iron Man? Waste of a mage cape as well. Um, and yeah. I'm sorry. I'm literally wrong place, wrong time. It's just that easy, but he wasn't too happy about having to use his mage cape switch, which he can only do a few times in the day. He's hoping the key was worth it. The max cape guy was 1.4 mil, 276 muddy keys with a short green guy. Who is it that called that world? Because I'm genuinely going to ban them. I have two mage cape attempts a day. And this just made me use a mage cape. Jokes on him when they buff the muddy chest. Step. A good old troll, but don't worry because he did engage in a serious PK battle against this guy. Dead. Surely. Surely. Good fight. Beautiful. Absolute. 300. The biggest PK we've seen in a while and Dino put out a post showing how much fun he was having taking people out the game who were floating around the Laren's chest. And while we're checking out the PKs, next up we have Greg who was just hopping around the world but didn't expect to log into this. And don't ask me why the man was hopping around worlds with just 8 HP and venomed when he clearly had food in his invent, but at least he got to protect that Void Waker. And foe reading out the update blog is probably one of the funniest things we'll see. Soul Reaper Axe. A two-handed axe that will be created by combining the four pieces dropped from the post-quest bosses. That was a community designed weapon inspired by the morons. <laughs> Surely, staff, right? Surely. Holy, it's a... Yes! Oh my god! Not quite going to the group Iron Man or the regular Iron Man, but apparently that one was a duo split, so a lot of GP. And if you love the nostalgia of Barrows, you're gonna love this. Boom, boom. What the f*** is that? And to be honest, that's three very helpful items for an Iron Man. What a chest indeed. But while we're looking at chests, let's switch over to one from TOA. Not, no, a, not, a, ring. not a ring. Not a ring. Not a ring. What? No what the f***? And that was the streamer's first ever purple at just 5k. See, the game was on easy mode. Some people have to grind for hundreds of hours. Jake took a fair while to get his, but it's going to be all gone very shortly. For the anonymous uh, 50 gifted subs, dude. Jesus Christ. I've had this, bro, I've had the Warhammer for so long, man. Look, it's not even on the log, dude. Say goodbye to it, dude. I'm sorry, Warhammer. You hit zeros anyways. At least when he receives his next one, it will be on his collection log. But he did that for 50 gifted subs, which cost the gifter about 250 and the streamer receives half. Let's switch over to an Iron Man who's just finished his seventh raid. What do we get? Hey, Missouri's body. Let's go. 107 mil on the account. Let's go, 
boys. It was all going so good. Super happy with this massive upgrade, but there was one big problem. Togo, gas, bro. Look at it. What the? F I can't even wear it. Ah. And if you'd rather see a dirty, stinking main finish off his 806k, see it, CG. Here it is. <laughs> I will take that. I will take that. I will take that. Let's see if skill specs can turn things around in this one once again at the end of the fight with no bruise left. Alrighty then. Nice. You got greedy, bro. My hot cry, man. Completed. You got greedy, bro.